if we push a ball it will come to a halt in almost every situation uh, there is a, a force like this this frictional force or some resistive force which uh, put them at rest but then how did galileo find out that uh, if there were no friction an object will continue to move at its state of uniform motion or rest until an external force is applied so uh, to find this he did some experiments so we are discussing uh, two of these experiments so the first one is uh, he let a ball slide down a slope so when the ball roll down the velocity increases also he noted that when a ball is climbing a a slope its velocity decreases so when a ball goes down its velocity increases and uh, when a ball goes up its velocity decreases a slope is an intermediate situation so he thought that its velocity will neither increase nor decrease but will remain constant okay this was one of these uh, experiments that uh, led to uh, galileo led galileo to believe that uh, an object will move at a constant velocity if there were no friction or other forces acting on it so another experiment is this uh, here we take a, a double curved plane and uh, if we let a ball slide down it will go down and uh, Uh, reach it uh, a position slightly smaller than the original height of the released ball uh, so if there is there were no friction uh, the ball will reach the same height as it, it was released now what if we increase uh, decrease the slope so we make uh, the distance bigger and the slope lesser uh, and then if we uh, push the ball or if we let the ball go it will reach the same height still even if it traveled a greater distance so in the limiting case uh, when the slope is zero then the ball will travel an infinite distance if there were no friction of course so these are the experiments that led galileo to the law of inertia